The VNAV function on the Pilatus PC24 can be used during climbs. The VNAV climb mode is enunciated as V-Flight Level Change, or VFLC, and can be used to satisfy altitude restrictions during a climb. In this video, we will demonstrate using VNAV to fly the Sheed 1 RNAV departure out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We are instructed to climb via SID and will be taking off from runway 19 or right. Once the runway is selected, select the departure and transition. Once the entries are made, verify the takeoff runway, SID, and transition in the SID takeoff tab. Once the SID is loaded, cross-check the waypoints in the flight plan with the charted procedure. Make a note of any crossing restrictions. In this case, the Roper waypoint is to be crossed between 6,500 and 7,000 feet. We can see on the waypoint list and the vertical situation display that the flight plan reflects this restriction. The next restriction is Mad Dog, with a hard altitude of 9,000 feet. A good way to verify waypoint restrictions in a flight plan is to use the Skip Waypoint button. This will center the next waypoint on the INAV map and vertical situation display. Again, we see that the restriction is correct in the flight plan. Continue verifying the flight plan in this method. As part of the rest of the pre-flight preparation, verify that the proper altitude is set in the altitude preselector. In this case, we are to climb via the SID, so we will set the top altitude of flight level 190. This is important because the flight level change mode respects the altitude preselector and will not climb past the altitude set. We will perform this takeoff and climb using all available automation, including auto throttles and FMS speed mode. After takeoff, verify that the nav mode is captured and push the VNAV button to select the VFLC mode. Once the flaps are retracted and the aircraft climbs above 2,500 feet AGL, the aircraft will climb at climb thrust and target an airspeed of 200 knots. When VNAV is active and an altitude constraint exists, the FMS altitude target is shown to the lower left of the altitude preselector. It displays the next altitude constraint on the flight plan. In this case, 7,000 feet is displayed as that is the top altitude at Roper. This can and should be cross-checked on the chart. With VNAV armed during a climb, the aircraft will capture the lowest of either the FMS target altitude or the altitude preselector. When the aircraft is within 1,000 feet of the target altitude, the target altitude changes to amber. The vertical track alert is a reminder to the pilot that the aircraft is about to level off. As the aircraft approaches 7,000 feet, the vertical mode changes from VFLC to VSEL. This is a transitionary vertical mode which allows the aircraft to transition from a climb to a level off. Once the target altitude is captured, the target altitude is shown in magenta. The vertical mode then changes to V-Alt. The aircraft will remain at this altitude until crossing the Roper waypoint. It will also remain at 200 knots as long as the FMS speed mode is selected. As the aircraft approaches the Roper waypoint, the vertical track alert again indicates that a VNAV altitude change is about to occur. Once the Roper waypoint is sequenced, the aircraft transitions back to VFLC and the climb is resumed. Verify that the next waypoint constraint is shown in the target altitude field. In this case, 9,000 feet is shown for the altitude constraint at Mad Dog. The aircraft will again climb at 200 knots and level off to cross Mad Dog at 9,000 feet. The aircraft will continue to climb in this fashion until it reaches the top altitude of flight level 190. To climb higher than 190 will require a change to the altitude preselector. 
In our example, as we approach the Mad Dog intersection, ATC clears us to climb to and maintain flight level 190. This clearance overrides the original climb via clearance, and we are no longer required to level off at 9,000 feet for Mad Dog. To make sure we don't level off at Mad Dog, we will need to change the climb mode from VFLC to FLC. To do this, push the VNAV button. This disengages the VNAV climb mode and the aircraft will enter the basic vertical mode of pitch. Next, push the FLC button to activate the flight level change mode. Flight level change mode will not respect any of the VNAV altitude restrictions in the flight plan and the aircraft will continue to climb unrestricted to the altitude set in the altitude preselector. This can be verified by the disappearance of the FMS target altitude on the PFD. The altitude constraints still remain in the flight plan. However, unless VNAV is selected again, the aircraft ignores the altitude constraints. As more and more SIDs are being published with altitude constraints, using VNAV during climbs is an excellent way to reduce pilot workload and mitigate altitude deviations. For more information on VNAV climbs, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.